So for those of you who are living under a rock or don't have the bell icon clicked on my channel, which you should do right now, I started a hackathon about a week ago on my channel and we have seven more days left of this hackathon. So if you're just now hearing about this hackathon, just remember you still have seven full days. It's a lot of days to actually just neglect your family, your friends, your girlfriend, and just focus on coding, right? Just focus on building out something cool for this hackathon because you'll have a chance to win some cash prizes. And not only that, you'll have a chance to learn some new tech, maybe join my Discord, talk to other hackathon contestants, and just have a fun time, right? Seven days is enough to build a cool little prototype. So we got two main categories for prizes. So if you're the type of person who wants to come in and just, you know, win some money, but also if you win in this hackathon, that's something that you can take back to your family to prove to them that all of these years you wasted sitting in front of your computer, typing on your keyboard actually pays off. We also have some secondary categories, such as an honorable mention, where I'll just go through and kind of pick some of the best projects that didn't win in the main categories. And then we also have a top rated by public, which is a good way to win up to 100 bucks if you are the best top rated project by your peers who are also competing in this hackathon. And it's also just a great talking point if you were to go on a date and you want to, you know, win over your significant other. This telling them that you won a Web Dev Cody hackathon, like there's nothing better than than telling them that. Right now we got about 196 participants, so don't feel like you're behind, although you might be a little bit behind. You can still join in, and I'm sure most of these people are not gonna submit any projects. People get hyped up on the first day and then they disappear on the second day. So you still have a chance to come in and participate. Now, so how do you participate? Well, you go to myhackathon.webdevcody.com slash register. The link's in the description. You read through all of these 15, 16 rules, and then you have to agree. There's two checkboxes which will show up if you're not registered and submit your registration. So that just lets me know that you do agree to the rules um, and that prices will be paid out in PayPal. If you're kind of convinced, if I've convinced you that this hackathon is probably gonna be a life-changing event for you, I have some resources here you can go to. There is a Discord where a lot of the hackathon contestants are going to just chat and kind of share the progress upload some pictures and we also have a convex discord which is the main back end as a service that we're using in this hackathon so if you want to get help from people much smarter than me who actually built this tool be sure to check out their discord as well and ask them questions so we also have a lot of templates on the convex site which shows you how to build various things oh hey look that's me i have a video up on their uh website they also made a dedicated hackathon page so if you want even more examples of how to get started they have a lot of resources and then of course I have my own videos related to Convex here. I got a quick start guide and I got two projects where I build out a, a decent size AI project. And then Jamie over here has a really cool storybook AI. So if you're looking for ideas for like how to use Convex, how do I compete in the AI category? We got some videos for you. The other category is a collaborative category. So basically build a game, build something where multiple people are interacting with the same thing, such as a Figma board. Something like that. Now, before these seven days end, go to submissions and go ahead and submit your project. Notice that we already have someone who submitted. This is Tom Does Tech. He's another YouTuber. So go check him out. Tom Does Tech on YouTube. Um, so if you want to go and like get ideas, you can go here and try to get some ideas on the submissions that are coming in. For submitting, you basically have to submit a three minute video. It can be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, doesn't matter, but try to keep it to three. If you submit a 15 minute video, I'm not going to even watch it. So try to keep it around three minutes to kind of demo what you built and then also put a link to your GitHub repo. Now, if you don't want to share your code, you can keep the link private, but you have to send me a, an invite so that I can go through your code and verify that you did use Convex for building out this project. All right. So at this point, you might be like, well, I don't I don't know what to build, Cody. I'm, I don't have ideas. Well, this is one little idea that I'm building as a mock submission to my own hackathon. Now, obviously, I can't win money and submit to my own hackathon. But this is a color by numbers app that I'm building that uses AI to generate the board that we're trying to create. And then what you can do is you can click on the board and then you get a custom room that you can actually go and email your friends if you have some. And then you can go ahead and click over here. And the idea of this tool is you click on the numbers and this is just a paint by numbers, right? So if you go to like your local craft store, this is something that's actually pretty common in a lot of craft stores. There's like things that you can paint all of the sections using the colors. Now I will say that this project I'm building is part of the collaborative submission. So notice here, if I update on the left, this is potentially player one kind of drawing their little section and player two is seeing those updates happen live 
all with how Convex works behind the scenes. Convex is a backend as a service, but as you update your database, you're actually gonna get WebSocket events, which you can automatically use to hook into React and update your state as various data pieces are changing. So I just wanted to share that with you all in case you guys want some more inspiration of like what you could build. Then I also am working on a collection page where you can go back and just kind of like resume your progress. Like let's say you have a step away and come back in here and do this. So that's what I'm working on. I'm curious about what you're working on and what you plan to work on if you're gonna join this hackathon. So again, final thoughts, we have seven days left. Don't feel intimidated. Even if you submit something, you may have a chance to win if it's a cool idea. You got the weekend coming up. It's a lot of time to try to do something. Other than that, yeah, have a good day. Good luck and happy coding.